Labor MPs are sweating over the lack of support from voters for the voice to parliament. The Australian Today reporting that Labor MPs are getting the jitters, with some asking for even more spending on the Yes campaign, including signage, ads and mass mail-outs. All the while, Australians struggle in this cost of living crisis. For more on this and the rest of the day's top stories, I'm joined by the Australian newspaper's columnist and former editor-in-chief, Chris Mitchell. Chris, thank you for joining us this evening. Look, it's not looking good right now for Labor on The Voice. Can this be salvaged for the Prime Minister? Or do you think the reality is, and, and do you think Albanese will have to face the reality, that this is looking like a defeat? Hi, Shari. Thanks for having me. Look, um, you wouldn't want to be Anthony Albanese or indeed any Aboriginal kid in this country the day after a referendum uh, went down. And I think it's uh, surprising and full of hubris that um, both the government and so many of its advisers were so quick to rule out any compromise, particularly on a voice to executive government. Um, they may rue this. And I think it's been clear for the last six months that the polling has been heading south. And as Dennis Shanahan pointed out in the Oz this morning, um, some of the polling in the latest numbers shows that core Labor supporters on this and core young voters are drifting to the no camp. So I think it's going to be a difficult one for the government to salvage. But I don't know that Albanese can do as Dutton says and legislate a voice and just have a referendum on a recognition proposition because that would be like walking away from the ETS that that Rudd walked away from in 2010 and cost him his leadership.